Hi, this is Richard Romano, Senior Analyst for WhatTheyThink.com. We're talking with Terry Mitchell, VP of Marketing for Fujifilm. Thank you for joining us. Great. Great to be here. Now, some months ago, Fujifilm had a uh, tech summit where you introduced a new model in the uh, J-Press uh, cut sheet production inkjet line. Tell us a little bit about the, the new entry. Yeah. Well, we run these technology summits to acquaint uh, primarily commercial printers with uh, what's going on in production inkjet. And uh, Fujifilm was kind of first in the market with the B2 half-size sheet fed uh, press called the J-Press 720, uh, introduced several years ago. We just recently launched the 720S, which is the latest generation. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the things that we did to that uh, press in terms of uh, the next phase is it's got full variable uh, capability at speed, 2,700 sheets an hour. So the press has that capability. Uh, we changed the drying system around. Mm -hmm. uh, that also enhances the speed of the press and the capabilities of the press on a number of different substrates. One of the things that sets it apart is it has a pre-coat that's automated and inline, mm. and that also uh, allows us to print on some pretty standard offset sheets. Mm. And uh, it's been well received by the customers and these technology summits have been well attended. And uh, I think it's getting a lot of traction now in the commercial space. Are there any limitations to the substrates they can print on? That's always been one of the sticking points with production ink jet. Yeah. To say there would be no limitations yeah, exactly. would be an overstatement, right. But to be able to print on a lot of the common offset sheets and have them have the finishing capabilities mm -hmm. that you're used to is really appealing to the commercial space. You know, they want to print on the papers that they've been printing on mm -hmm. and they want to be able to finish the way they've been finishing. Take a job off of an offset press, put it on the J press and still have it meet the customer's expectations. Mm -hmm. But can we print on every type of sheet? No. Yeah. No. But we can certainly print on a bright, wide variety of sheets. What are some of the top applications you've been seeing customers use the J press for? It's really uh, pretty broad. We've got uh, certainly brochures, uh, we've done uh, folders, uh, we've done book covers, uh, you know, there's, we've done calendars. I mean, there's lots of different applications for the press. Mm. So is, with the top, so what they say, killer app for cut sheet uh, production inkjet, taking work away from offset or is it en enabling unique applications? It's really enabling unique applications. First of all, if it's anything about versioning or variable or if it's short run, it just mm. doesn't make any sense mm. to put it on an offset press, even though there's been a lot of improvements in reducing the make ready and, and getting shorter runs more effective on, a, on an offset press. Mm -hmm. uh, but when you get to the variable and you get to uh, short run work, mm -hmm. it really is challenging to be competitive on the turnaround time or the cost with an offset. And that's really where the fit is. Hmm. So for those types of applications, I guess runs are getting shorter and they're seeing more and more demand for personalization? Yeah, I think it's, it's more the versioning and the personalization. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, the more that print buyers see what those capabilities are, the more they open up mm -hmm. the thinking about it. I recently talked to a commercial printer who said, I got a uh, request for a quotation. And that almost makes me feel like that you're in a losing situation. That's a price-driven mm -hmm. sort of a thing. So they said, well, what are you trying to achieve? It was enrollment for a college. And he said, well, we have to go to students, we have to go to alumnus, and we have to go for the continuing education. And he said, well, why don't we break this down into separate runs and do mm -hmm. customized mailings to these different target audiences? Not only was it more effective in terms of enrollment, mm -hmm. the whole campaign cost less. Mm -hmm. So they were able to respond and do something with variable data and an inkjet that they really couldn't do with offset, and it mm. got them out of that mm. real request for quotation, real price-driven kind of mentality. Mm. Oh, they're great to see uh, how that uh, takes off and expands uh, as, as we go further. Yeah. So, thank you very much for okay. joining us. Thank you.